and even Cammy catch catfish and I catch email scams. Hey, I, hey, I'm Staley Insight and here's a quick story time on the newest modeling scam of 2024 from Masoni. If you're new here, I'll link my Fashion Nova scam down below so you could catch all the influencer tea. So let me tell you, it was a Friday. I decided to take just a rest day. So I'm laying down watching First 48 and I receive an email, fashion model. I open it, I read it, I see it comes from a Gmail. Red flag number one. Once I saw it came from a Gmail, I knew it was a scam. Red flag number two is there's no company logo, there's no company footer, no contact information. I'll also link my very detailed video on how to detect email scams. Red flag number three is there's no context whatsoever of the photo shoot. I don't really know who you are. I don't know where I'm going. It's a basic email with very little info. However, Mr. Timothy wants to ask me for two photos and my location. Let's remember red flag number three for later. But once I knew Timmy was full of it, I said, oh, oh, I got to get this for my girl. Simply out of curiosity, I decided to look up scammers and photos. Like, why would he request photos? Usually the scam is you want me to provide my PayPal, some sort of funds. Never this face. Is there some sort of identity theft I don't know anything about? So I Googled, why do scammers want your photo? See all the possibilities of what they can do with your image. This is cringy AF. The one thing about me, I like to play dumb until I get all of my questions answered. Brands could hire third party companies that may not have English as their first language. I've received real emails from the real company that could have seemed sus because they had grammatical errors. However, it was legit. Perfect example is if you received emails in order to film and promote for brands on TikTok shop. Some of those emails wouldn't pass English class. However, they're legit. I sent questions trying to get a better understanding of the photo shoot, playing dumb. A real brand should not have any issues with clarifying any questions you have because they want to build that rapport. They want to get that, you know, the love, the, the trust. While waiting for Timmy's response, I went to the internet and I searched Masoni modeling scam. I found nothing. Next, I go to Instagram to see which email, if they have one, is attached to their Masoni verified page. When this popped up, that's when I knew for sure. I was like, oh boy. Here's the thing, I would never, never take Masoni as the type of brand to do a modeling scout for their new campaign via email instead of going through a modeling agency, which I am not a part of. Then Tim responds, 15 minutes later, homeboy didn't answer any of my questions. He didn't even dress me as hello Staley the same way I signed off on my reply email. Not only do you have grammatical errors and you trying to scam me, but you're rude. Remember red flag number three? When I told you that Timmy asked for the two photos in my location, I asked Timmy five questions. I, why I got all of this? What is this? I sent the list and he sent me a script. I felt like this was the scammer starter kit to take my identity and use the photos wherever. Would have my images, would have my city, because that's the information that I would have provided. Maybe he could get my exact IP address if he's really that good and tech savvy, or maybe he got another guy that's good at it. We, we don't know what's going on here. 
In conclusion, I left him all red, never heard from him again, and I came to tell you guys, be careful. Look on their website, Instagram email. If they send you a page that they'll tag your content on, look it up. Research, research, research. Scammers always think that they're smart, but we're smarter. Thank you for watching. I do hope this video was insightful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell in order to keep up with me. I will be linking those two videos down below so you guys can take some notes. Make sure to not get scammed. Bye.